we found the iguana. He's right here. He's sitting right there. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Oh my gosh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Landon Share, and today we have a crazy video. Well, hopefully a crazy video if we find this thing. Yesterday, one of my friends sent me a picture of an iguana with an arrow sticking out of its head, a bow and arrow. Somebody shot this thing with a bow and arrow who knows how long ago, and it's still alive. The iguana has not died. It looks like he's a little bit messed up. So we are out here today to look for him and hopefully we can find him and bring him back to life. Now he's somewhere on this canal bank. He could be in one of the trees. He could be sitting in the water. I really don't know if we're gonna find him today, but if anything, we'll keep looking throughout the week and see what we can find. But with that being said, guys, let's keep walking down this canal in search of this iguana. Guys, we've just started walking down the canal. We haven't seen anything yet, just one small iguana. But look at all this trash, guys. Probably from somebody who is fishing this canal again or just hanging out here, but if you're gonna come and enjoy this beautiful area, keep it clean. A lot of people don't understand the harm that they're doing to our native wildlife. This is close to the canal where I swam with that little American crocodile a couple videos back if you guys watch that after this. That little American crocodile needs clean water and a clean environment to survive. If he swallows a bag or a bottle like this, it could kill him. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of this trash, put it in the truck and keep going. Now guys, we're at a new section of the canal. We just loaded up and headed over to this part. I really don't know where this iguana is. We've seen some other big iguanas that have jumped in the water before we were able to get them on camera, but they didn't seem to have this big arrow sticking out of it. Now, I just saw a huge turtle jump in here, so let's go get him. Guys, the turtle got away, but I think we're gonna go in the pipe. This is crazy, look, show it down there. Whoo! All right, alligator infested pipe, let's go. He's right here! Huge soft shell turtle. Oh my gosh, this current is ripping through this pipe out all the way to the ocean. They have those floodgates open and that soft shell turtle just took up right off, he's right in this black hole of a pipe. Just up current, way too fast for me. Let's keep looking down the canal. Woo! We haven't really seen much yet. We've been looking on the banks and in the water for this iguana, but we haven't seen anything except for this nice comb. You know how I keep my hair, this long hair so pretty? <sighs> Garbage combs, I'm gonna pick that up. But the reason I dropped it is because my videographer has found something insane. Look at this, check this out guys. This is what you find on the sides of South Florida canals. Voodoo Santeria. There is a dead bird in there. I don't even really want to touch it, but oh, oh, that smells. Oh, oh, I can't believe I just touched that. This is disgusting. Guys, in these South Florida canals, you find a lot of people's voodoo Santeria leavings, including this bird. Now this one didn't get thrown in, but we have seen goats in here, all sorts of animals. This does not look like somebody's pet that they have wrapped up here and left. This doesn't look like a pet you'd bury in a rightful ceremony. This is some messed up stuff. Comment down below, guys, what you think happened to this poor little bird. But we gotta keep looking for that iguana, so let's go. cool was that? Did not find the iguana. My videographer was walking on the top. I was checking the banks from the water's point of view and also looking for some cool stuff underwater to show you. Big old grass carp, snook, 
gar. You guys basically saw it all. Super cool stuff, but still haven't found that iguana yet. We're gonna keep heading down and see if we can find him. Guys, so we just saw him right here. We found the iguana. Now he jumped in the canal. He was sitting right next to this tree right here. He should come up for a breath of air right here. Keep that camera rolling. Is the GoPro straight? Is the GoPro straight? All right, it's good, it's good. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, there he is, there he is, there he is. Right there. Oh my gosh, he's right there at the bank. You can see the arrow. You can see the arrow sticking in. They shot him in the head. Dude, can you see that? He's sitting right there. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Look at that. There are big trucks coming and he's right on that side of the road. We're gonna have to go get him real quick. I don't wanna spook him. If he gets spooked, he'll either go down the canal or he could get in the road and get hit by a car. Let's see if we can get him. Dude, his mouth is all messed up. He is a big iguana. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at his mouth, look at this guys, oh my, we've got him, we've got him, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, dude, this thing is insane. Look at that, there's a clean hole all the way through. The other side must have just broken off. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this beast of an iguana. Poor guy, this poor innocent animal. He's totally scarred up. He has a hole in his dewlap down there. He has a hole in this side of his jaw. And not only that, but he has mouth rot, which could have come before or after getting this injury. This injury has definitely messed him up. It doesn't seem to have hit too vital of an area. I don't even know how he jumped in the water. He's very thin. It doesn't look like he's been eating. I cannot believe that we found him and I also can't believe we are able to catch him. After he jumped in the water, I thought he might have gotten away. Good thing he didn't get hit by a car. But look, although he is pretty thin down here, he hasn't lost all of his weight up here. And if we're able to pull this arrow out, got some stuff in my mouth, we might be able to save him. I know Jacob is really good at doing a lot of work with his iguanas. So I'm probably gonna bring him over there and we'll see if we can get this guy fixed up. I think that arrow looks like it'll come out. Look, it's a clean hole all the way through. Oh my gosh get his mouth up close and you can see he has more injuries. Those beautiful, insane eyes. These guys are really just put in a terrible situation out here, being an invasive species from South America. They live here so well because of the warm temperatures and they thrive. But guys, if you are gonna try to remove them from our environment, please don't do this. Look at him. He's still perfectly alive, just totally injured. He's managed to break the other half of that arrow off. We gotta get this guy to safety, so let's get him back to the house. And guys, we are at Jacob's house right now. I just called him and told him the whole crazy situation. And well, I think he's gonna film his own video. That is seriously bright. There he right. is, the man himself. Guys, Jacob is gonna be filming his own video on just, hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, what are we doing here? All right. All right, well, Jacob is going to be filming his own video, so that is where I'm gonna end it here, guys. I gotta change my clothes and get out of these swampy nastiness. I gotta show him this iguana, and hopefully we can save this poor little guy. Comment down below your favorite part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.